morning year two we're going to be carrying on out with our work about newspaper reports today and today we are going to be thinking about how newspaper reports sound so on friday we thought about how the front pages of newspapers look and we looked at all the features some of which were similar to a non-chronological report and today we're going to be thinking about the language features that we would need to include in our own writing so we are going to be looking for sentences that are written in the past tense we're going to be looking for words and phrases, so a couple of words together, which show time. We're going to be looking for quotes, which we talked about last week. And we are also going to be looking for sentences which tell us what's happening now. So now the event is over, what's happening? So before we get started with all that, you would, might want to remind yourself, what do you know about the Great Fire of London? Because remember, that's what we're going to be doing eventually, writing our own newspaper report about that. So remind yourself of some facts that you found interesting. Tell someone either in school or at home three features of newspaper reports that we learned on Friday. And if you're feeling really fancy, you can even explain what their job is. And think about yesterday's English lesson. What is the past tense? Can you think of some examples? What's its job? So pause the video and have a chat or have a think. So hopefully you've had to think about my questions in the last slide. So let's think about today's work now. So last week we talked about newspaper reports and their newspapers and their websites telling us what's happening in the world. It can be locally to us in Long Sutton or it could be thousands of miles away in a different country, even on the other side of the world. And when they're writing, in the writing, sorry, they often sound quite posh, quite grown up. So when we do our newspaper reports, we want to try and do that as well. We want to make our writing sound like a real newspaper report. We almost want to convince people it could have been in a newspaper in 1666. So in order to do that, we need to know what makes a really good newspaper report, just like we did for instructions. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try and find four different features of newspaper reports and we're going to read an example of a newspaper report and look for these four things. OK, so the first one is sentences written in the past tense. And we did start to think about this yesterday. Sentences which are written in the past tense are writing about things that have happened and that are finished. They're over, they're complete. So like we could talk about Christmas. That was last year, wasn't it? That is complete. The Great Fire of London, we're definitely going to be writing the past tense because it's happened. It's long ago. And also we learned about verbs yesterday, such as jumped. We talked about caught, all those kinds of verbs. <clears throat> so we're going to be looking for sentences that are about events that are over. The verb is going to be really important. The next one is going to be words and phrases to show time. So it could be saying on a certain day, it could be saying a little while ago, it could be saying the next morning, anything that shows that time's happening while this was happening, while would be another word which shows time. Quotes from important people. Now we all know what a quote is because we did this last week. That's just what people say about events. Sometimes they're in speech marks which are two kind of punctuation marks floating in the air. But a quote from what someone said about this story, this event. And the last thing are sentences which say what's happening now. So, for example, in the Great Fire of London, we might talk about all of what's happened, that everything's burned down and what's going to happen now. London will need to be rebuilt. So that's what's happening now. London will be cleaned up and start to re be rebuilt. So you'll notice as well that each feature is in a different colour. So you will see why in a second. So here we have an example of a newspaper report. This example is also in your home learning pack. You've got the whole newspaper report. I've just got a small section here. You've also got a checklist with the four things from the last slide. And what you need to do is, like I did, choose a colour for each feature. It could be a felt tip or a crayon. It's entirely up to you, whatever you've got to use. You need to find examples of each of those features and use them in the right colour. So I've done this for the opening of this newspaper report. You can do it, you can copy mine and then you can carry on with the rest of it, but you're going to need to find some by yourself. So 
you'll see I've put some things in yellow here. I haven't highlighted the whole sentence, but I have put in yellow some past tense verbs. That was the, um, the colour I chose on the last slide on my checklist. So any verb which is in the past tense, spotted, ends in ed, was, that's a past tense verb, discovered, another one that ends in, a, in ed, and had risen, they are all past tense verbs, so I've highlighted them in yellow. Now in green, I've got my words and phrases to show time on Friday evening while the following morning. All of those things are talking about when things happened. OK, the next colour should be blue, but you might have noticed there are no quotes in this part of the newspaper report. So I don't have anything to highlight in blue. I'll give you a clue that comes later on. So maybe you'll be able to find some quotes from important people in the bit you're going to read. And my last bit is in red. That is what's happening now. What is happening now? Local detectives are continuing with their investigations. That's what's happening now. The UFO was spotted yesterday. Now the police are investigating. So I've put that in red. So your job is to find that checklist and the newspaper report in your home learning pack. You need to read the rest of the newspaper report and then find examples of each feature. Remember to choose one colour per feature and underline or highlight them however you want to do it. And once you've done that, please send us a picture. Uh, the email address is on the slide. Try and I've done the first bit, so try and do towards the end of the report and see if you can find some different examples. Remember, you can go back through my video if you need to remind yourself. So don't forget to email as you work and we'll see you later.